This is KWGN-TV in Denver, a Tribune broadcasting station. We'll return to our movie right after this brief Region 2 evening report brought to you by First Federal Savings and Loan Association, Colorado's oldest. Good evening, I'm Ron Voigt. At long last, a grand jury verdict in the Curtis Park police shooting deaths of two Hispanos. is Channel 2 News with Ernie Bjorkman, Glenn Gerber, and Jim Conrad, the Mile High City's only prime time newscast. Good evening, everyone. It's 9 o'clock in Denver. From KWGN TV, Denver's first late newscast. Good evening, everyone. I'm Steve Saunders. Thanks for joining us. From KWGN TV, Denver's first late news. This is Channel 2 News with Dave Young, Beverly Weaver, Glenn Gerber, and Jim Conrad. Good evening. I'm Dave Young. I'm Beverly Weaver. From KWGN TV, Denver's first late news. This is Channel 2 News with Dave Young, Beverly Weaver, Al Fogelman, and Jim Conrad. Good evening, I'm Dave Young. And I'm Beverly Weaver. Thanks for joining us tonight. From KWGN TV, Denver's 2, your first late newscast with Dave Young, Beverly Weaver. Al Fogelman with weather and Jim Conrad with sports. This is Channel 2 News. Good evening, I'm Dave Young. And I'm Beverly Weaver. Thank you for... From KWGN TV, Denver's 2, the Mile High City's only primetime newscast with Dave Young, Beverly Weaver, Jim Conrad Sports, and Al Fogelman with Doppler 2 weather. This is Channel 2 News. Good evening, I'm Beverly Weaver. And I'm Dave Young. Thank you for joining us tonight. This, is, this will be a make or break weekend in deciding when Denver International will be open. From Denver's WB2, this is 2 News. Good evening, I'm Beverly Weaver. And I'm Dave Young. Thank you for joining us here tonight. Sports tonight, Greg Mills, Jim Ryan here. Another game. Another loss for the Nuggets. Your first late news with Ernie B. Orkman and Wendy Brockman. This is WB2 News at 9. And good evening, everyone. It's the Mile High City's first late news. This is WB2 News at 9. Good evening. Good morning, everyone. Happy Memorial Day. Thank you for joining us. Good evening. More and more employers are feeling the effects of Denver's strong economy. From the news leader at 9 o'clock, this is WB2 News at 9. people every week than any other station in Colorado. This is WB2 News at 9. A live look outside the WB2 News studios. From the news leader at 9 o'clock, this is WB2 News at 9. Caught on tape, a terrifying escalator accident last month, just like the one at Coors Field. We get a glimpse of some very scary seconds. 
Live from the News 2 studios, this is News 2 at 11. You're watching Natalie Tisdall, Vita Urbonis, and Angie Austin. This is News 2 at 11. This is News 2 at 9, Colorado's first news at 9. Residents and road crews all across the metro area scrambling around because of tonight's winter storm. Colorado's only source for 20 minutes of non-stop news. This is News 2 at 9. You're watching Ernie Bjorkman, Asha Blake, Chief Meteorologist Dave Frazier, and Mark Soyer with sports. This is News 2 at 9. Garcia, Laura May, meteorologist Jason Boyer, and Lisa Holbrook with sports. This is News 2 at 9. Live from the News 2 studios, this is Sports Replay, brought to you by Rocky Mountain Honda Gears. Tonight, the Bush administration makes a major move to help a massive insurance company. Full story coming up in a live report from Washington. He says America's in the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression, Why Obama says it's the GOP's fault. I'm Matt Garcia, a Colorado delegate and a Denver attorney, goes to the RNC and gets robbed of thousands of dollars. He alleges he was drugged by a woman he took to his hotel room. The story coming up. Sit down! The judge in the O.J. case losing her cool Why she's yelling at the lawyers on both sides. And a new hybrid you can plug in at home. The government may have saved yet another giant from becoming victim to the financial crisis tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ernie Bjorkman. And I'm Kelly McMullen. Thanks for being with us tonight. You're watching Daybreak on the Deuce with Tom Green, Melissa Millay, Jason Boyer and Angie Austin. Daybreak on the Deuce starts now. Welcome back. Now 8 a.m. on this Friday. Thanks so much for joining us. Live from Denver, you're watching Daybreak. With Tom Green, Angie Austin, Chris Tomer, and Chris Parente. Named Denver's best morning newscast by the Associated Press. Good morning, everyone. Five o'clock on a Monday. We'll have your forecast in just a minute. This is News on the Deuce with Kelly McMullen, Dave Frazier, and Zubin Mahenti. News on the Deuce starts now. Good evening. Welcome to News on the Deuce. I'm Chris Parente. It's a wonderful day. Not a cloud in the way. And the skies are all blue. And the sun's shining through. Yeah, it's a wonderful day. And not one to waste on sleeping in late. It's the very best news. Channel 2 and Daybreak. Good morning, everyone. It's 6 o'clock. We'll have your forecast in just a minute. Good morning. Thanks for joining us for Daybreak. It's one minute after five o'clock. I'm Natalie Tistall. <laughs> You're an exact woman. One <laughs> after five. I'm Chris Parente. <laughs> Tom has the morning off. Good morning. Glad to have you with us here at 5.30. I'm Natalie Tistel. And I'm Chris Parente. Tom Green has the day off. This is Colorado's own Channel 2 News at 4. We thank you for joining us for the debut of Colorado's own Channel 2 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Mike Landis. And I'm Deborah Takahara. We're going to start today with some severe weather.
Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Deborah Takahara. And I'm Jeremy Hubbard. Our top story tonight, NFL players vote to okay a final deal ending a four and a half month lockout. And New details emerge in the Arapahoe High School shooter's plot as local law enforcement reveals what was scribbled on Carl Pearson's arm. Thanks for joining us tonight at 7. I'm Hema Muller. And I'm Eli Stokel. This is Colorado Zone Channel 2 News Daybreak. It is 7 o'clock on your Wednesday morning. A beautiful, warm Wednesday ahead of us. If you have the free Channel 2 News app, you already know it. The headline, absolutely beautiful. You want that app so you can get the good news as soon as you wake up. And speaking of waking up, we're all a family here on Channel 2, both those of us in studio, you at home watching, and our whole team doing what it takes. You have Natalie from her home studio there on the south side, Ken Clark joining us from Parker, and Chris Tomer. The picture behind you tells the story. It is going to be a gorgeous Wednesday morning. This is Colorado's own Channel 2 News Daybreak. President Trump is making history by becoming the first American president to step into North Korea. This is Colorado's own Channel 2 News Daybreak. It is 9 o'clock, an outbreak that is not slowing down. The latest coronavirus statistics, what the U.S. is doing to help China, and a family being forced to hold off meeting their adoptive daughter coming up. I just hope and pray he comes home and we have answers soon. I think that's what everyone's hoping for at this point. A community gathering in El Paso County praying for a positive outcome, the latest on Gannon's stock the missing 11-year-old boy. Good morning and thanks so much for joining us here on this snowy Colorado day. Five o'clock on this Tuesday morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Natalie Tistel. And I'm Chris Parente. First up, breaking news overnight, Iran announced they have made arrests. From Channel 2 News Daybreak, this is breaking news. We're live and local at 7 o'clock with breaking news. Police investigating two homicides overnight. The first in Aurora. Here's a look at the scene on East Caspian Circle. You're watching Channel 2 Daybreak. Wait, 36 out here. It is snow covered on this end of town. We are at ground zero. The most amount of snow here in Boulder, and they're digging out this morning. We're live from that dig out straight ahead. This is Colorado's own Channel 2 News at 4. Aurora's search for a new police chief kicks into high gear tonight. Thank you so much for joining us at 4. I'm Erica Gonzalez. Live from Denver, this is Colorado's own Channel 2 News at 7. And thanks for joining us tonight at 7. I'm Kim Posey. And I'm Matt Morrow. Now, from your local election headquarters, this is Channel 2 News at 7. It is Super Tuesday across America and right here in Colorado. The polls in our state closed literally 20 seconds ago. And any moment now, results will start coming in. Thanks for joining us for Channel 2 News at 7. I'm Jeremy Hubbard. And I'm Aristair Brady. We're this is Colorado's own Channel 2 News at 730. Thanks so much for staying with us tonight at 730. I'm Matt Morrow. Colorado's own Channel 2 News at 11. And we do begin with breaking news is coming to us from Erie, where a suspect has fired at police during a standoff that lasted upwards of 24 hours. This is Colorado's own Channel 2 Daybreak at 6. We're on it. Some evacuations now being lifted near the site of the Cameron Peaks wildfire. This is Colorado's own Channel 2 News at 4.30. We're on it. Smoke blanketing the Denver metro area today. Sky 2 capturing this video from earlier today showing just how thick that smoke is this afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Erica Gonzalez. We're going to get right to it. This is Colorado Zone Channel 2 News at 7. We're on it. Sky 2 capturing the smoky scene over Colorado today. We know that all that smoke from the wildfires here in Colorado and out west is making it very difficult for a lot of people to breathe right now. Live from Denver, this is Colorado's own Channel 2 News at 7.30. We're on it. RTD giving us a first look at the latest expansion of the end line today. This is the agency works on a plan to cut costs through staff and pay reductions. Thanks for staying with us here at 7.30 on Channel 2. I'm Kagan Harsha. And I'm Deborah Takahara. 
This is Colorado Zone Channel 2 News at 11. We're on it. And all new here at 11, six people arrested in connection to protests in Aurora this summer. Among them are protest leaders 